We're back from the Silver Creek Studios for another episode of Get a Load of This. I'm Jared. I'm Ryan. And with so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being (laughs) J-O-E. Nice. So now everybody gets a little taste of what of Joe's warm up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We usually hear about ten minutes. Of yeah, that before, before we hit the go button, we get uh, we get a little sampling of uh, Joe's rapping expertise. Hey, I got a mic in front of me. What do I do? Yeah. What do I do? Oh, you know, it's only natural. Whatever, whatever I, makes I, you feel good. I can't hear no snare. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the well this week and uh, have another fun episode with beer. Fun with beer. I love the fun episode. Those are great. <laughs> Why aren't they all fun? They are all fun. Well, <laughs> they are all fun. They're a damn hoot. You yeah. guys should think that too. We hope you do. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna hit beer again because it seemed to work for us last time. We enjoy the heck out of it, and uh, and well, we're, we're usually pretty thirsty. So <laughs> why not? Uh, so what are we doing different this time? Well, we are going to do a uh, a little bit of a taste test, if you will, blind taste test, a live Pepsi animation, challenge, Pepsi so challenge of beer. You know, we all think that we're. Uh, have a very refined right. palate. Um, well, we're going to find out. I have months and months of experience. <laughs> right, right. Well, yeah, you. I remember the fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pit uh, a couple of major brands together. We're gonna we're gonna start off with uh, Bud Light and Miller Light to see if uh, age old rivals. Right. If mm-hmm. we can if we can ascertain a difference. And mm-hmm. uh, I am. Ryan Fairly swears he can. That there will not be a challenge here. This yeah. is going to be pretty much a slam dunk. Could be wrong. Could be um, wrong. It know. is being governed by the ghost of Lombardi. <laughs> so <laughs> that is Nate. That's cool. I can't believe he came. It was yeah. awesome. It's <laughs> nice of him to join us here. Yeah. Thanks for coming, <laughs> coach. <laughs> yeah. So we're starting out with bitter rivals, and then we thought we'd move on to the uh, cheap versus. Not as cheap. The value of propositions the products, right? of of the uh, brewing industry. Oh, both industry. cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both cheap. Yeah. So uh, it'll be Bush Light versus Natural Light, which Daddy a lot light. of people claim bottom come from the, the barrel. same barrel, <laughs> <laughs> come from the bottom of the barrel, and the same barrel. So uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna find out. I think we are gonna have a hard time. Yeah. Figuring now that, that one barrel out. is the same barrel they used to pee in at Wrigley Field, correct? <laughs> I think am so. I, am I right? That's where that? all so the I've drains heard. at Wrigley yeah. in the, the the trough urinals all lead to. To Bush Light. They rerouted so it down thank south. You, Chicago. Right? Actually, right. I think it's, I think that goes to old style. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to class it up a little with uh, some higher end wheat ales. Well, one's a wheat. Uh, the the what is it? Goose Island uh, three one two is is a wheat beer, and then the Blue Moon is well from a major brewer, but it's a Belgian white beer, mm-hmm. so it's yep. they're both similar, and, and you know they both have very me. fruity fruity flavors to yep. him so takes me back to a story uh when jesus brought the good wine in at the party <laughs> yeah. or not what is it not really a party but yeah he brought the good stuff in later so hey you know yeah well we're gonna close out on a high note <laughs> close right. out on a high note yeah. just like jesus did <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna Easter, start out you know. uh start with the rivalry with uh, miller light and bud light mm-hmm. so we're gonna do the uh the blind test here so none oh. of us have Seen. Come here, Ryan. I have to burn your eyes out. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Blind. We have uh, we have an assistant with us tonight, that's right. and then we have a, a bartender. That's uh, this is a really high class establishment. This here. is. So I great. mean, not only are the the, the bathroom spotless, <laughs> the, uh, the security tight. is top notch, and uh, but that we got bartenders too. Bartender. And this yeah. is really this quite is the nice. operation we, we got have going. Really turn us into something, haven't we, yeah. guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We better not let the tax man here, so we're gonna we're yeah. gonna come. <laughs> All of this is like donated. I yeah. just, <laughs> just here to keep warm. So we're gonna try not to pay attention to the poor. Beer, and, uh, beer has been delivered. It has been delivered. Some of it has. Well, two of them. I'm still thirsty though. Take it. So easy. we'll try to uh, we'll try, <laughs> try to, to get avoid... the shakes over here. Yeah. <laughs> We'll avoid well, all the, the mouth noises on the air if we can, but bear with us here. No, we're not. We're just going to drink. We're going <laughs> right. to burp. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna keep it natural. Do what so let's, needs to be done. Let's first comment. What do we see here? What do we got? What do I see? I see one of mine has a little bit more color to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, how come she, she short poured me? 
You guys got yeah, more beer I'll than take I take it. I'll switch you. Your, your class has more girth. I think that's what it is. Yeah, uh, well, that's what I hear. You want to switch, honey? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'll stick. I'll stand with the, the girth. He's getting the DTs, guys. Yeah. Okay, so we take our first swig? Yeah, which of them? Right. doesn't matter. Just doesn't pick matter. one. You're not pick supposed one. to look at the bottom of the glass, Joe. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Right, I guess there I'm goes right. the scientific. I guess, I guess I didn't even see the color. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I guess I already my fucked check, I mean, wait, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. He doesn't know the colors yet, so. Mm-hmm. All right. First drink. Go. Joe drank the whole damn thing. Well, that's how I You're taste. Supposed to pound sip. it. <laughs> supposed to sip. <laughs> supposed to sip. Yeah, that's what my third grade teacher told me too. How'd that work? Do we get like crackers and uh, water to cleanse our palate? I guess. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, God. Okay, first, uh, first reaction. Can you tell a difference between the two? Definitely can tell a difference. I but... can tell a difference. Huh. Oh, that's classy here with all the mouth smacking and glasses that, on that's the Miller. Table. Just the producer will take care of that for us. Yeah. I'm going to say Miller BL. All right. Hold on a second. Let me make sure, though. Let me... <laughs> He's drinking mine now, folks. Hey, dude! I seen the, I seen it's, the color on the bottom so, of yours. He's sloshing it in his mouth on the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the empty one's Bud Light. The one I got uh, some left in is Miller because it's dog piss. Okay, so uh, I'm going to weigh in first on which I prefer. Okay, I prefer this one, which I believe is a little bit lighter colored. Oh, really? Um, okay. I I'll say it has a little bit less flavor, but the the more flavor that I have in the other one, I don't like as much okay so i'm gonna and i think this one in my right hand is bud light all right okay i'm i'll go next sure uh i agree i think the one that i feel is bud light which i say is this one had a better flavor to me my my safeguard for miller light will always be uh it's sweeter it, to me it's a sweet taste of hmm. and and then just a kind of a like a zang, for lack of a better word, just at the back. It a little just, zang, huh? Yeah, it. Yeah. So, and I'm gonna go Bud Light, Miller Light, but I'm really gonna okay. go Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, I definitely think that uh, the glass that I emptied first mm-hmm. is uh, is Bud Light, but both his glasses are empty. Both are now. Right. They're now. Well, you guys took forever. I mean, I had to oh, do something wolf, over here. Do you know? new shots, don't you? <laughs> We got a long show here. We got to pace ourselves, gentlemen. So yeah, I definitely uh, prefer. Well, the 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 pink uh, is is my preference, and I believe that is Bud Light. Oh, hmm. Okay, so wow, I, th- I think the orange I'm wrong is my preference, uh, and I'm and guessing it's Bud Light. I am I am equivalent with, with Jared. So oh, Joe shit. and I are in the corner together. Uh, well, uh, do we want to reveal over here? What I'm do we wrong. got? I'm wrong. All these years, I thought How I was. How do you know you're wrong? We could be wrong because you guys are both right. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we're wrong. We're wrong. You guys are wrong. I got, but I was right. Yeah, he was we're right. Awesome. Way to go. You so guys I, suck. I just switched to uh, Miller. I'm eat a Miller like guy foot. now. Are you? Do you know it's actually cheaper than water here? In <laughs> so you're great, Dasani. So well, yeah. my theory has been proven. My, my right. palate is uh, Very refined. Good, right? I can right. tell the difference so now. Happy for you. Bartender needs to uh, rinse our our glasses. Honestly, you don't have to rent. You know what? Money. We really, you know, we got to get you a sponsor. We got to get me undies on here. We need some. We need some free stuff so we can start paying our help. I thought we were. I thought you were. No, <laughs> well, he. You know, I think he pays her. The check came to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, I, 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 as I am proud. I was of worried you. there for a second because you guys both were against me on that. I thought that I had gotten it wrong. I really did. And but, then, yeah, you totally doubted yourself. Yeah, I shouldn't. Now, mine wasn't so much. Wondering if I'd get it right or not, because I I'm pretty sure that I cannot right discern beers at this point, but uh, just that I preferred the Miller Light over the Bud Light. Mm-hmm. Apparently, I did too, yeah. and mm-hmm. that's interesting for you because you've always been a diehard Bud Light uh, guy, you know. It, yeah, well, but now, it had now less flavor. Yeah, but... till, till I met my friend from Lynchburg, Tennessee, fellas. <laughs> No, that was good. I liked that. Yeah, I liked yeah. that too. That was good. Well, right. now we got to kill some time here while we wait for the bartender to do dishes. 
and uh, so and come back. So who wants oh, to I don't learn about, about bridges? About here. No, let's this talk about this. This is why I uh, advocated for plastic cups because we uh, could just move no, on to the next thing. You know, you need to drink the beer from the vessel it was intended to be I drank from. Um, but we will talk about this. You can okay. visit us uh, on Facebook, on uh, Twitter, on uh, Instagram, on all the all the various social media pages uh, at Load This Podcast. For those people that are already following us, we appreciate you weighing in on a poll that we had uh, we had thrown uh, out there. Right. Uh, following last uh, our yeah our last episode uh, regarding toilet behavior, Poopy. Um, <laughs> so the question was, do you bring the toilet paper over the top or does it go, fall behind the back? Mm-hmm. So uh, over or under, I believe, is how it was uh, how it was phrased. And what I've learned from this is that number one, I'm right again. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> Oh wait, I'm on your side though on this. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I'm good. The seventy-two percent of uh, of folks agree that over is the proper way mm-hmm. to install toilet paper, while twenty-eight percent think that under is the proper way. And I've, I, you know, it's good. It, it shines a light on those uh, those fourteen deviants mm-hmm. that, uh, <laughs> that you know, you know, you got to start questioning everything. Oh but, yeah, honestly, you, but I am one of them surprised. is our bartender, so I should I, be nicer <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that over would win, but I didn't think it would win so such a so high handily, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So Villanova esque. Now yeah. that being said, the poll is still open. So if you it want is. to weigh in and you have not, get on Facebook and uh, fill out our TP over under. It's, poll. Yes, not even fill out. It's one click, and yeah, we hope that if you it. click on the uh, on your choice of over under, you'll also click on uh, the like button for our page and maybe a share button so that we get some more eyes on our. Right. On our stuff, we want people looking at our stuff. I want a boat, guys. Come on, now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not lying. This is, yeah, I we, mean, it's kind of all my eggs are in this basket. We can't buy a boat with just our moms listening to this. So, uh, so, uh, where is your, uh, what's our next one? Natty Light and Bush Light, right? Natty Light and Bush Light. And, uh, so my, my cooler is the black the, cooler. The, yeah, yep. sorry. And they're canned. So, you're going to dig through a little bit of ice. You'll, your hands <laughs> are going to get cold. <laughs> when you come to the fork in the road, there you go. So before we get into that, uh, we were discussing before we went on the air that uh, the whole rivalry with Miller and AB and Heiser Bush, that uh, they are no longer rivals, right? Well, apparently. It's As of a couple years ago. All comes out of uh, the same and hole. Anheuser Busch bought out Miller. Well, and it makes well, you wonder, SAB, I guess, how, how are they getting away with that? I mean, I guess it's since they're a multinational firm that as long as they divested certain North American properties they, yeah. that the United States, whatever, the Department of Commerce allowed it to happen. It seems I think they just shady. They just send a case of beer to right, Congress that's how it is. every other uh, right. Tuesday. Or right. Can you imagine if Prohibition happened now? <laughs> You'd oh, have riots in the streets. Well, yeah, I, yeah I, don't, I don't know. I, mean, I, I guess I there really was back then. But. I'm sure there was, but I mean... I don't know. That Instead, be... we're going the other way. We're gonna we're gonna end the prohibition of marijuana, and and all of a sudden, everybody's right. gonna be you know hiring a kite. So, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe if everybody, maybe yeah. that'll chill everybody out. You no know, shit. Maybe <laughs> I mean, maybe that's be... what the the country needs is more ganja. You know, and and everybody will just fucking relax. I'll tell you what, man. I, I'm whatever, but grow it, sell it. Tax it. Mm-hmm. It's a. It's a. It's something that build the, a wall with the tax money. Whatever the hell. Whatever it takes. <laughs> well, if you're a bit, do it all the way around and let's <laughs> starve the whole country, the whole world out for five years and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, until Keep they drop a nuke in, in on us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we'll put a bubble over top. <laughs> well, we, starve them all out. I'm talking just a lower 40, 80. <laughs> yeah. Screw, screw Alaska and Hawaii. Keep your oil. Puerto Rico's. Puerto Keep Rico's. Your... I'll be careful because we actually have a couple listeners down there in the Caribbean islands. So we got to be nice to those folks. And you in know, Australia hey, and New Zealand, we got to. We're going to send you. We're going to send you a nice boat. We're going to come get you. <laughs> right. Right. You hop on. We're going to. Hey, hey, hey. Get a load of this. They're like, yep, yep. Right, get on. Come on. Oh, yeah. And the eight <laughs> Swedish listeners that we have. We got to be nice to those guys, too. We I love, love the Swedes. Uh, yeah. Bring them over. We're going to cater to our international audience. That's so. right. Yep. Yeah. You know what? You're wrong. I was wrong. I'm wrong. We're opening the borders again. Open, borders are back open. <laughs> Tear the wall down. Come on, come on. Caravan. <laughs> as long as you listen to our damn podcast, we don't give a shit where you're from. No. Yeah. Bring the heroin. Bring the crack. It's ah, fuck it. Well, I don't do that because I mean we're not. Don't don't do that. But we're just having fun here, guys. And and I'm sure you're over there in Sweden too. I don't know what you drink. Probably not near as good the, as the us. The juice of Swedish meatballs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Swedish meatball gravy yeah, or something. I, I, <laughs> beer served at IKEA. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure Sweden Sweden's got some pretty good beers. I mean, I would imagine they're. I mean, 
they're like Germans. I look at thinking what Germans think? are. Yeah, I mean, I think they're like uh, Western European. Well, they're a Nordic country, right? So, but I think that, they are. Yeah, I think they're beer drinkers. I don't know. Maybe they're all vodka drinkers. Maybe they're like no, the that's, Russians. That's the Russians. Uh, we need to do some I, research. I will crush you for our. So uh, my, the germaphobe in me is coming out now, and oh, like shit. we just mixed up glasses. Well, she washed so, the glasses. Though. I know, she, but she, she, still. <laughs> oh, Jared, it's like we kissed. Yeah, it's all right. We're all clean, man. I got rid of the herps a couple weeks uh-huh. ago. We're all good, man. I, I have not yet. Yeah. So and another thing, I got it's called a Breva. It's really good stuff. When you get the little herps on your lip, there, you put that shit on there, and it knocks it out real quick. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> it's like this story I told earlier. <laughs> oh, that can't be good. Oh no! Well, one without. We <laughs> yeah. lost. We lost, lost a marker. A all right. So are you know, right. the one. Color, though? Are you she using the same color? I don't yeah. know. One okay. of our stickers came off. Okay, it's fine. We'll make it work. We'll, we'll figure it out. Well, yeah. All right. So this is the Battle of the Cheapskates. Yeah, that's right. Bush light and natural light. Couple of fives make a ten. <laughs> <laughs> let's right, go. Let's do this. Oh dear God, it's terrible. Really. I don't even I don't even remember how this beer was supposed to taste. This is it's been twenty five years since I had this kind of beer. I used to buy this beer with my lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I to me it's harder to tell. Now they're both, yeah. you know equally sim- terrible. More similar products, but I got it. I think I might too. Excuse me. My apologies to our listeners for my belching. Oh, you know what? My, it was me that lost one. Is it? Well, now we know that should be orange. All right, give me that. Give me that sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Cannonball. You want a sticker, little boy? <laughs> she's, yeah, she's, get in the get in the van. <laughs> We're getting kind of goofy here. She spiked these with something else. She. What are you doing? She's putting uh, a double, sticker on double it, man. orange, man. She is captain of efficiency. Not saying. So, what do you think? Oh, I got to figure it out. Do you? Yeah. All right, I'll go first since I, I'm lost. Do you hate both of them? I equally hate both of them, and I I think they were both. It's like they're both water, just water. It's, I don't know. I don't know. It's like foamy toilet water. I don't know. This is the Cahokia in me coming out, but I think I prefer these both of these to Do what you? we just had. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> tasty. They're light beer. There's really not. There's not a whole lot of complexity right. to them. They're just they're a, just yeah, your basic light beer. They're uh, they're meant to get to get college students drunk. Right. Yeah. This <laughs> is this is the stuff. I think they do a man. fine job. You know. All right. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna go. Pink is natty light, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna go. Orange is bush bush light. Bush light. Yeah. No, I'm gonna switch it up on you. I think the opposite. I think pink is bush light, and orange is natty light. I don't even remember what I just said. So, <laughs> you said the opposite of me. In oh, okay. this case, I agree with Joe that pink is pink is natty, and the orange is, is bush light. And I prefer the natural light over the bush light. Bush light I, has I, a little I bit more has, I, a, has a little more flavor. It seems like, but it's not good flavor. It's uh, if I'm correct, then I am as well a natty light fan over the bush light fan. I barkeep. I would also like to keep in mind. That that that? I'm not what's a fan the uh, what's the answer here. <laughs> What I did I say? Now. Pink, I said pink is natty light. Pink is yeah. Dude, I'm two I for got two. it wrong again. Pink is Par- two for two. No, I, yeah, I'm with you. Oh, I'm, oh, hell yeah. I'm top, I won. Damn I'm it. so stupid. I didn't Damn even know it. I won. Jeez, don't give me any lottery tickets. <laughs> well, these All are right, junk. Man, I'm feeling away. good now. Not what's next. This one's easy too. I'm gonna go three for three. I guarantee I'm it. Way I, wrong. I, I know I know the difference between Blue Moon and uh, and Ryan's and talking Goose shit Island. now. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Wow. You know. I'm not thirsty anymore. It's all good. It's a solid goal. I am so glad I'm not doing this. I have re- I originally yeah, was going to do shit. all the pouring and everything, guys. And man, there is some. There. Are, I'm glad you're involved instead of pouring. I, I should uh, say that into the mic. Yeah, yeah it's all right. We, <laughs> it'll it'll pick up. Whoa, Whoa, shit! We almost wow, had a disaster wow. there. Man, she, we need to pay her more. <laughs> she gets enough. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that's so, the end of this. That's the last time we'll get her help. <laughs> <laughs> so Silver Creek Studios just burnt to the ground. <laughs> so I'm over two. 
Yeah. I, I couldn't tell. Well, you are one and one, yeah. 500, and, and I don't even drink I'm beer I'm a noob. Anymore. You're a bit of a it's beer okay. novice, so it's yep. understandable. I've been, you know, J- Joe and I have been drinking beer since we were fetuses. So yeah, knee uh, high to a nine foot Indian. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's uh, only makes sense that we'd be a little bit more uh, accurate on this. Yeah. But so are both of those beers considered the same, pretty much price? And you oh, know, yeah, same, I guess nowadays uh, they are. My dad used to drink Bushlight. I think they sell it by weight now. <laughs> so my, you know, but when it, before the light beers came out, I. <laughs> This is how much beer has been in my life since since I was old enough to walk. My grandparents on my dad's side, they both were beer drinkers. Grandma and grandpa, mm-hmm. Nana and Papa, they were both beer drinkers. And uh, Nana was a was a I think she was a Budweiser drinker, and Papa was mm-hmm. a Bush beer drinker. Okay. And my uncle and my dad were both Bush beer drinkers. And so when I was over at their house and everybody needed a beer, then I was too little to read. They'd say, get us, get us two reds and two blues. Mm-hmm. And, yep. <laughs> and yes. I would go to the fridge, and I was in charge of putting them in the fridge and taking mm-hmm. them out of the fridge. I was Spider. I was the uh, delivery yeah. boy. You know? <laughs> hey, Spider. You know, I, and if you guys want to talk and just to be talking, I have a little history on that, too. So when I was a little kid like that, even and I well, it was always stag when I was a kid, but my dad would tell me stories about St. Louis had 905s. Yeah, yeah. I remember 905 beer. 905. Yeah. And they had their own beer. It was yeah. their own beer, the 905 yep. beer. Okay, what's 905? It's a it liquor would be, store. It, would be a, it was mm. a liquor store. So right now, it would be equivalent to like a dirt cheap. Right. Mm. And okay. it would be like drinking dirt, dirt cheap beer. beer. Yeah, yeah, right. And so... So you get 905 beer, and they put six beers in a brown paper bag. And, and, and to, a, yeah. to a seven-year-old. Yeah. And you can just go <laughs> Yeah. Up. Well, yeah. I mean, back then you could go. You my could, parents I used to go into. I yep. went and paid for a half barrel at St. John's <laughs> Liquor because my dad was getting the truck ready so he could carry it out. And my dad, my dad's a big guy like I am, and he carried that. He carried a half barrel out like it was a newspaper, <laughs> and probably just out of anticipation. Like I am going oh, to I'm murder gonna... this. <laughs> but, no, I remember my dad sending me into get into the gas station or into. I don't know if I ever went and bought beer, but I would always buy him a pack of cigarettes. And yeah. every once in a while, most times they would not even bat an eye. No. I'm a nine year old walking in saying I need a pack of Marlboro soft pack, Marlboro Red soft pack, and they just you know no problem, not your a mom question. Mom outside, your dad yeah. outside. Yeah, well, that's and then every that's once that's in a while they would look out the window like your mom out there, and I'm like yeah, she's out there in the in the blue Pontiac, mm-hmm. and they're like and they'd wave and and they they'd sell them to me. That's just completely unheard of today. Oh, right. That's you know? the nostalgia of this show, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know that I ever bought beer, um, but I do remember going to 905 with my dad. Hmm. Um, I remember specifically one time going to 905 with my dad and my uncle, and I and I we rode there in the back of a buddy's some of my dad's van that had no back seats. It was like a, a cargo van, but just it, rolling around. And yeah, and I think they, they gave me a lawn chair, one of them squatty lawn chairs, yeah. and they're like just sit in that chair, don't move. And I'm like, I won't. I'll this try. is completely unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the belt? And Click Wolf it or Man, I remember Wolfman Jack was on the radio, or I don't. I mean, it was some oldie station or mm-hmm. something. I think it was Wolfman Jack, and I mean, it was. I, I don't know why I remember it, but it's something that stuck mm-hmm. in my head, you know. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we went to 905. 905. It had a rotating sign. The sign, the sign that. actually spun on. Mm-hmm. It. I, yeah. it turned into a Western Auto by me. Yeah, and then uh, what else did we have? We had uh, oh, the, the Falstaff. Falstaff was brewed here right. in town, and, right. or in, you know, well in Belleville, right? And my dad had a. My dad must have known somebody through the brewery because he had tons and tons. I think he drank it too because it was cheap. It was that well, lower sure. grade. Mm-hmm. Well, Schaefer's was another one. Do you ever drink Sha- Schaefer's? No, I don't. I never see it, but. But I had well, I have that really cool Falstaff sign in my basement yeah, yeah. now, and and that was my dad's, and I always look at that. He had to hook up. Yeah, yeah, for our international audience and uh, our nation. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure there's equivalents to sure you these, guys all these have places those out there in Sweden. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> maybe not Sweden, but in L.A. and Chicago and wherever else. I mean, all these towns have have something equivalent. I remember where I went to college, we had Brown Derby down at uh, in Missouri State. They had. Uh, Brown Derby on every damn corner, it seemed hmm. like. And some were big, some were some were superstores, and then there were mm-hmm. some that were no bigger than an old like Fox Photo kiosk kind of yeah. deal. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Fox Photo. <laughs> and yeah, they were uh, look at the head on that. Yeah. Wow. I, you know what though? I'll say this to our LA <laughs> listeners. Uh send send us some pictures, please, of in and outs. I've always hmm. wanted in to out, eat in and, and out burgers. Out. Good. Did we talk about this before? No, no but I, I just think so. I've had an earlier. Out we were talking about we it's have delicious. we have a fair amount of uh, uh, L.A. listeners and kudos to you guys. Yeah, the thanks ocean, for listening. Love and life. Yeah, you guys are all right. Love I'm and a, smog. I'm a West Coast rap lover. 
Uh, <laughs> but and I'm a low rider aficionado. Yeah, and we're happy that you guys survived the wildfires and and right. all that. I mean, that you, looked like uh, crazy. You kind of got screwed there, Joe. You got a pretty big head on the one. Uh, yeah, it's we're all gonna right. be here a while. Uh oh. You know, I bet I take it like a champ. What do I got? I got two oranges. So here, Joe, give me, give me. That. There you go. Okay. All right, we're straight. All straight. All right. So these are uh, the higher class. This beer. is Goose Island. And I can tell you right now by looking at it that I know which one's Uh-oh. which. I'm going to make my prediction right now. All right. That, that this Swami. One, that I'm not this sure one... I want to know. Don't, don't. Uh... Okay. Right. Okay. I'll, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I don't care. Well, this one, I believe, is is Goose Island. Okay. And I believe that this is, is Blue Moon. Hey, before Without we, even taking a before drink. Before we go, and eat, I've drank neither of these, so I'll be totally guessing in the dark. Are these going to make me sick? No, no, no. no. <laughs> And I do want to caveat that we realize these are not high class beers. No, they're this is like a dollar more than the yeah. regular. Stuff. Hey, look, we throw this <laughs> stuff together on a so, on a dime. So right, you know? this is right. high class beer. Right, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's more expensive than than Bud Light, but uh, <laughs> but it's not uh, it's not a true craft brew. It's not a high end brew. No, All right, no, let's dive in. I mean, where's my orange? Yeah, <laughs> I'd have been able to tell then. <laughs> yeah. Where'd that one come from? Hmm. Oh, it's a definitely a t- <laughs> the look I'm, on Joe's I'm face right now. like it's my first <laughs> beer ever. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, right. it's definitely a different experience. It's good stuff. Hmm. Wow. No wonder they you are. Made... They are surprisingly similar. Yeah, I similar. didn't expect them to be that. That similar. I did my homework. I tried to find two beers that were the same or similar. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Ryan said, "Hey, will you drive?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it now. I'm just doing that, so you have to take all those out. So, yeah. J- Jared hates when I. Oh my god! <laughs> Edit what is this. that? That is terrible. <laughs> that is absolutely terrible. I stand by my earlier prediction. Didn't I say that this one was? Was Goose Island right? Goose you Island. Did, yeah. I thought I was kept and I, and I believe this neck. one is uh, this one is uh, Blue Moon. Yeah, so I'm, I stand I'm by my my first prediction. Yep. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to give my prediction since mine really does not matter at all. And this is a miserable guess. And to all the craft beer lovers out there, good for you. Kudos to you. If you can choke these things down and <laughs> hey, you know this is what I like. Hey, good for you guys. <laughs> good for you. And I'm impressed. You're a better, you're a bigger you said man. you liked that guy, that homebrew stuff that that guy made. Yeah. That was like a grog. That was, yeah, it was <laughs> thick like molasses. It was, but you can't sit around. I told you, but you go back and listen. I like an all-day sipper, right, man. Right, I like yeah. something that, you know, you put a 30-pack in, and at the end of the night, you got ice. That's what I <laughs> right, like. Right, right. I hear you. Okay, okay I, so I I'm think go I know, too. Go ahead, Joe. Well, I already went, so. Yeah. All right. I can't tell what color that That's is. That's orange. Orange? We're all belching in the oh, mic. Yeah. Orange, I'm going to say, is Gooseneck. Goose Island. Goose Island. Well, I'm going to call it Gooseneck because it feels like someone tore a neck off a goose, or a head off a goose and poured out his neck. Because that is, that is the bladder of a goose. It's not that bad. And we're sorry I mean, to our Chicago fans that love Goose Island Brewery. All right. And then this other one, which honestly I think, and my, my palate is a little different, it's like... Have you ever poured your trash can out after it rained? Does it smell? I honestly, it tastes like that smells. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to say that's blue moon. And, ironically enough, you're drinking it out of a blue moon. I am. Pint glass. Yeah, so I'm going to go, I'm gonna go mm-hmm. pink blue moon and I'm going to go orange gooseneck. I am going to agree with Joe. I think that orange is goose island 312 and pink is blue moon i am the opposite okay pink, pink right. is uh pink is goose island orange is blue moon survey says i can't see it i'm pink wrong is blue moon shit i was right i was right i'm <laughs> ah, all right fine oh, shit my I'm perfect red yeah yeah two and one i'm not even a beer drinker anymore and I'm Jared equal. finally got off the schneid and got one right we're proud of you What's what? even worse is I got the... <laughs> but you've drank 
Goose Island. Well, you've drank all these beers before yeah. at some mm-hmm. time. So, all right, well. Mine was a total guess, though. So. But I, what Thank I find you, funny and interesting is that Joe really can't stand these beers. Yeah. Like, I figured you'd be, like, you know, a seasoned veteran and old no, pro. And... No. I am an old pro. I mean, right. I'm not, I haven't puked yet, have I? <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll kill this. Time. I'm going to be a man about it. Which one is this again? Oh, it's Blue Moon. Yeah, that's... Uh... No, it's not Blue Moon. No. Yeah, it is. No, because you got it right, and you had Blue Moon and Blue Moon Glass. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to drink the rest of this Gooseneck. Goose, yeah, Gooseneck shit. <laughs> and it's gone. Boy, that was quick. We got to do a <laughs> like the man show, the Ziggy Zaggy shit. Ziggy Zaggy, <laughs> Ziggy Zaggy. Oi, oi, oi. I can do that. Yeah. We'll, hey, let's do it with whiskey, boys. No, 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 no. We need to get to... No, uh... you know what we should do it with? We should do it with that stuff that my bride makes. The oh, apple, apple pie? <laughs> she makes this apple pie moonshine. I drank that stuff when we watched the, the fight. The fight. The, uh, uh, yeah. The Conor McGregor fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't remember. <laughs> I, I don't know. We, I don't drank know what a happened. gallon of it. Yeah. It was bad it's news. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's basically, it's three <laughs> apples cut up in some water, and then you pour a, a whole fifth of Everclear in it, and then a whole fifth of vodka. Yeah. No, it's more than that, but it's delicious. It's, it is. It is. It is magically delicious. It is. It, it does taste like drinking apple cider. It doesn't. T- you don't taste mm-hmm. any alcohol. It's just sweet. Mm-hmm. It's just amazing That's stuff. Delicious, but, but it, it will annihilate. You. <laughs> and and it did. It, I I'm, mean, gonna, I'm gonna get you some. You can okay. have some. Yeah, yeah, but it's a d- I'm warning you now. Do do like a shot, maybe two. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. And then and then call it a night because because uh, no, we were you doing could, you could do it with with what you're drinking but oh you my. have it you little have a blast and, right well, maybe and we'll do it. that on uh, on April 13th we'll do that uh, yeah I looked rough that and up. rowdy unless unless you guys are gonna do some magic at the house <laughs> you ain't can't get it on young I can't get it on mine well, I thought Charter had it all there brother well it don't have two <laughs> derelicts beating the piss out of each other yeah it don't have that sorry guys <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sling has the two derelicts well right. no but I know how to hook it up yeah how do you do it. You got to well, go online I, I, and get it or whatever. I watched the video. Yeah, we'll have to go online to get it. But he, they have like this dummy video. HDMI from the computer, HDMI to the TV. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes Boom. sense. Yeah, we can do or that. we can do Apple TV and you yeah. mirror it. Mirror it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, HDMI, HDMI, fifteen bucks. If you guys <laughs> want to come over to the house, we yeah. have the equipment. We have the technology to do yeah, this stuff. We can do it. <laughs> but yeah, so we might have an episode later on about the rough and rowdy fight that's happening on uh, April thirteenth, so, North versus South. Carol- North the- Carolina versus South Carolina. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen it, you know, Google that. Rough and Rowdy fight. Yeah. It, it's the video for the promotional video is hilarious. Um, yeah, they're just love it. insane rednecks beating the living snot out of each other. But anyway, we could do a. I'm not doing more. I'm not doing what I did last time, but that I drank that apple pie stuff. We don't need to do a gallon. <laughs> well, I, oh, yeah, man. they're they're leaving the next day and going to visit Drake University. So, well, so you can recover for <laughs> thirty well, days. A week. Yeah, if I need to. <laughs> So, so uh, we could we know we could have done a whole lot of other different uh, comparisons. I had some and people we still can say, pointing out that we didn't do Coors. Yeah, um, we could have done. I kind of thought maybe we could do like the cheapest beer, maybe a Natural Light versus maybe a Michelob Ultra. We or could something, go to dirt the cheap and get their shit. Stuff. That's what I'm yeah, thinking. right. We could go get the absolute and, cheapest and, stuff. And we have not even discussed uh, Beast. Milwaukee's right, best, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I could tell Milwaukee's best or. Beast light. I won't be able to tell yeah. till the next morning. <laughs> I gotta say, Ryan, oh my god, <laughs> Ryan was right, spot on on the uh, the domestic. Uh, you know the the, the typical Bud the lights that and all that. Yeah, yeah. The one that right. He didn't get the uh, didn't the, get the Goose Island beers, stuff, but uh, Goose Island's out of Chicago, so we won't hold that against you. Yeah, folks. well, I don't like anything out of Chicago. <laughs> hey, we have seventy something listeners out of Chicago, right. except for those people. We love I like listeners those people. in and Chicago. I'll t- and I'll tell you what, we just don't like anything else right. out about. You Chicago. know what I do like about Chicago? I, I watch. I mean, he's not playing. The Bulls the aren't. Italian no, you know, I watched a thing on Michael Jordan. I don't know what channel it was on. I was flipping through or whatever, and and uh, maybe it was on on the internet or whatever. I scrolled through a video that was highlighting. Jordan, I was like, God damn, man, that guy. Yeah, he was pretty Past amazing. I oh mean, yeah, you know, the people talk about LeBron and 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 talk about well, you know Kobe. Hey, hey LeBron, they're was great. The man. They they're are great. great. They are but great, I don't but know that not... anybody can no. compare no. with Jordan. Maybe no. LeBron. He might be one that, like, I, if you put him in his prime against Jordan in his prime on the court together, head to head, not one on one, but on a team. I could see how he'd hang on a with team. Jordan. I, I see. I don't think they would make it. It's too too big of alphas. 
Two big yeah. outfits. No, no, no. Two I mean, together. like LeBron leading one team versus oh. Jordan's other team. Those That's two like together Larry Bird against Kareem. each other. Right. Yeah. Well, I think that in order to make that an even matchup, you'd have to have you'd have to have LeBron with the Bulls the same. Yeah. Know? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because with the Jazz, you put LeBron with with John Stockton and Carl Malone. You know, yeah. The other night, wa- I was those watching. Those guys could hang. Those oh, sure, guys could sure, hang. Yeah. They just needed that one X factor. I've right? been watching the. Uh, you know the. <laughs> NCAA championship Me and all too. in the bracket, right? Oh, We've yeah. all been watching that. So seeing Charles Barkley do the you know the halftime commentation, mm-hmm. man, if you if you saw him in his prime when Barkley was at the let's say yeah, the the, with, the Barcelona the, Olympics or whatever, oh, how about right, the ninety four championship? Peak the physical condition. That dude was an unstoppable force, yeah. and now he can barely walk. Right. You know, and he's slurring the speech. Well, how tall on those, is he? I mean, he's like six uh, eight, something like that. But I mean, you know, oh yeah, six, Barkley nine, six, could ten. never palm a basketball. Is that right? Yeah. Really. And so I watched this thing speaking to him, Sir mm-hmm. Sir Charles. Oh, so he was, uh, and then we and then we can. We got to be careful because we lose our listeners with sports talk. I know, but you guys are gonna <laughs> love this because it's not it's not gonna be. I watched this OJ thing. So the same day that OJ rode down the freeway, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Al Mike, not Al Michaels. What's the other? Bob Costas was calling Game Five, hmm. the Houston Rockets, mm-hmm. and uh, which went on to win the championship mm-hmm. that year. Yeah. Was calling that game, and he was during the game. He wasn't even calling the game. Right. He was That's calling. Right. Yeah, he was calling the the, the damn the highway the race, highway yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. I was in a Foot Locker at that time, and I remember on the TV in the Foot Locker they had the OJ chase on, yeah. and the finals like the finals were on. Yeah, and you know, of course, you're in a, a basketball shoe store, right. and the NBA finals were on, and they cut to OJ. I was and in a it bowling was this alley. Crazy, you know. We were bowling. bowling alley. We were bowling with like two other couples. And we everybody stopped bowling, and they had the TVs up in between the the, the scoreboard, mm-hmm. you know, the bowling scoring screens, and and everybody pretty much stopped and yeah, watched this insanity right, happen. Right. <laughs> Best thing yeah. about all that, or the worst thing, was <laughs> AC Collins is calling and talking to the cops, and they go, "Who is this?" And he goes, "This is AC." He goes. I don't know who that is. <laughs> AC thought he was a yeah, celebrity. Yeah, he thought he was the shit, <laughs> He just man. had a reality check. Yeah. yeah. Punk ass But now AC. he is. Everybody knows who AC yeah, Collins is. And, uh, Al you know, Collins. Or, and, then, and now, unfortunately, the that was the genesis of all the Kardashians, you know? Oh, yeah. So oh, sure. thanks to that bullshit, right. we got to deal with a bunch right. of... A bunch of big asses on TV. So yeah. some of them are fine to look hey, at. Just better seen than heard. And know? just the other day, somebody at work pointed out to me that one of the Kardashians, I don't know which one, might not be a Kardashian. Might be oh, a, uh, a Simpson no. off breed. But uh, I, well, yeah, I that would be uh, uh, Chloe. They, they so that's OJ. That. She's they're saying that's OJ's. That kid? OJ might have yeah. uh, fathered that kid. Right. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of shenanigans going on out there. Oh, well, and these LA. are the days of yeah. our lives. Hey, we bring a full circle for you. LA. You I know? love LA. <laughs> I love LA. So if you got some opinions <laughs> on any of this stuff, if you want us to test another beer, we'd be happy to drink more yeah, beers. Yeah, sure. It's um, kind of our thing. You want to give us your opinion on whether or not MJ is the greatest basketball player of all time or whether or not oj simpson fathered a kardashian (laughs) drop us a line or if you want to name my baby (laughs) that i'm gonna have not coco the silverback yeah (laughs) Uh, well if someone's got a better name you know i like brianne all right well what if it's a boy brian i like brianne it's a it's a (laughs) this is new world 2018 anything can happen that's right so well anyway if you have any opinions on any of that stuff Drop us a line at Load This Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Make sure to like us, follow us, share us, all that good stuff. Or shoot us an email at loadthispodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, this has been Get a Load of This. I'm Jared. I'm Ryan. And I am Joe. He is. See you guys.